Hi there, it's Petmos. How are you today? Well, nice of you to join in for another adventure with Legionnaire Bulgaria. So, last time we backstepped the Italian. Well, not really backstepped since we weren't in a faction, but, well, Nationalist Spain went to war with Italy. And, well, we just joined in and, well, now we are at war with Italy as well. We are fighting our way into Africa. And, well, I think we should prepare for an invasion of Britain. Don't know if it will succeed, but at least we can try. And, well, one of the things we can do is create paratroopers. And since we have enough experience, we will be creating a strong paratrooper division. And then I think we should just start paradropping people into Britain and then send a few guys across. Uh, no, not military police. Engineers and... Well, recon and artillery. Let's save up first. Let's see, do we have anti-tank? Yes, we have anti-tank units, so we can put those in as well. Let's just save up. And what we can do is convert these people into uh, paratroopers and then start dropping them. For now, we're not going to do that straight away. But, well, maybe in a little while we'll do that and see if we can paradrop in, then send the rest of our troops over by ships. Don't know... Well, he has a rather small navy, so that should be possible. We have naval bombers here trying to bomb any ships that are present, so yeah. We should be able to do something with that. But before we're going to do that, let's hope Nationalist Spain finishes off Italy, so that war will be gone. And, well, let's just continue here into Africa. So, as you can see, two divisions are moving in. Let's just make sure that we surround this one. Get rid of it. Alright, well, he should probably just go there and then attack as well. Because he's losing all of a sudden. It appears he was winning, but now he's losing. Oh, we were defeated. Oh, he has subs there, so we have to be careful when we actually go on the offensive there because it might well be possible he will attack us there ooh we have american forces guess we have to be a little bit careful down here i guess we could pull in some extra troops there make sure we can drive the americans away that'll be interesting and good to see Let's hope we can sink a few ships. I'm not sure we can. Oh yeah, we already sunk the first one. I'm not going to watch all those reports, of course, but just to give an insight on what's happening. So, as long as these provinces are taken by Spain, that war can end soon. And, well, I like that. Also, prepared a little naval invasion here. I don't think it can fire because we have no intel, but... well. That reminds me of something. I believe if we put up a radar station... No, we don't have radar, so we should find radar. Because if we pull that out, that should give us intel. But basically all we need is control of the skies. Once we control the skies... So we need to bring in more fighters. Yeah, let's just set the limit to 300. Send them in. Because if we basically control the skies here, which we don't, not even close, but as soon as we control the skies, we can actually move in. I think to help us control the skies, put fire production all the way on top. We have plenty of stuff anyway. Let's start building those fighters and make sure that we can do something good with that. Now I guess we need to do some trading. So we have everything we need. Yep, there we go. Well, let's see what happens. We're shooting down convoys as well, which is interesting. Ooh, the Italian guy got into Turkey. Well, luckily for us, we still have an army. So let's just go there. 
How many divisions does he still have? 7 to 13. So every division we destroy is good. Because that will help us move forward. So, these guys can just go that way. And if these can just go around, we will surround these two divisions and destroy those army armored divisions. And that will be interesting, I believe. Because destroying armored divisions is always good. Alright, so let's keep trying. In the meantime, these are doing a decent job. Still moving out. Ooh, he lost three ships there, it appeared. No. Just damaged them. Well, that's fine. So we are building fighters. We don't. Oh, we can control the skies now every now and then. Let's hope they'll continue. Ooh, we sink a sub. That's good. Well, we are scraping the barrel, so nothing we can do there. We can go to total mobilization, but that will cost us recruitable population. Is there one here that gives us more population? Research time... Order... Oh, the effect of partisans go down. That's interesting. Well, daily political power gain, daily fascism support, I don't care. Daily political power cost going down, that could be interesting as well. Division organization going up, national unity, I don't care. Consumer goods going down, factory output going up. Recruitable population factor plus 25%, that's interesting. Well, this could be interesting. Our national unity will go down, factory output will go up, political power gain goes down by 50%. But we get extra population. Or at least we should. Let's see. Well, this could be interesting. Recruitable population goes up. Greater good. Well, yeah. Ooh, that's nice. Yep. I like that. Although, Spain is doing rather crappy job. I wish he would do a better job. Let's get that harbor so they're just cut off. Guess that will help. At least, let's hope so. But there's no opposition there, so we can bring in more troops. Hope that won't ruin my uh, supplies, but well, let's just deal with that. For now, it'll be great if we can defeat this division, because, well, just a less division for Italy, which is always good. He has one here, so it'll be interesting to see if we can cut that one as well. And, well, Spain is just going to have to be able to do a good job. much help. Alright, we have to port, so that's good. Guess that should make sure that he runs out of supplies at some point. At least it should be tough for him to make sure he keeps all the supplies. It says only four divisions are available there. Well, now there's six. All my six divisions should be there. Let's wait and see what happens, but it does look good. In the meantime, we'll be continuing down here as well. He can go there, he can go there. Come on, let's just walk down, yep. Well, there's much happening on all fronts, so... Ah, Italy is gone, perfect. So we can take places of Italy. we can take. And our turn again. No. Oh, he took that, that's fine. Should we take 
this. I guess so. Or at least we should try. Just pause. Let's take that. Oh, he's taking land as well. Which being Campania, it appears. Did the British take this? I don't think so. Would be a help, though, if others took that and not us. Well, this is costing a lot of points and we just can't take that. So, what else should we get? Probably nothing in Africa yet. We don't need that. Don't need this as well. All we, all we need to do is defend it, so... Let's just pass. Or should we say we're done? It could help as well. Let's just see. No, we can't take that. Pass. Can we take it now? No, pass. Nope. Pass. Yep, we can take it. Perfect. Alright. Well, I think we're done. Alright, let's hold it. We have troops in foreign land, that's true. Well, this is all Bulgaria, so that's good. However, we can't fight there anymore. Let's just say everything goes there. Ooh. That's Spanish now. So we can't take that anymore. Japan got something interesting. Alright. His plan should be cancelled. can join the Red Army, that's fine. We don't have to protect against him, so we freed up a whole army, that's good. What's this? The new Afghan Khanate got something also interesting. Well, let's just get my Red Army here as well and prepare for invading of Britain. Meantime, they can all join that army, start moving there, come on, that's fine. They can be a bit more aggressive, that's not a problem. Let's just go in. Alright, well, interesting. Ooh, that's nationalist Spain, I can't go in there as well. Well, that's interesting. Spain actually did a good job. However, once these provinces are taken or something, we have to fight back. So I guess I will send this army, put it on the border there, so just to be protected against this. I think that's a good option. Now we have troops here, they're all moving out, which is good. If we go to Diplo view, we can see if there's any provinces of us that are bordering the country we're at war with. No, so that's good. We still have air supremacy. Kinda. Guess we are shooting down fighters, or just trying to. So I guess we should prepare. So, let's set a lot of my transport planes there. Or basically all of them. Alright, so now they're set there. Then, we should start making landing parties. Let's make a new theater for them. And put them in as well. Let's just up. Let's just make all these landing parties. So that we can do a big landing. Alright, well... This is the first. Should make paratroopers out of them, of course. So, let's see. Go to... Uh, go do it like this. Can't do them all at once, I believe. Hmm. Well, let's just do it like that. There are paratroopers now. They are paratroopers now. Let's become... Well, quite interesting, I'd say. Seeing all those paratroopers emerging. Now we can set paradrops. 
or at least we should be able to set paradrops. We will do them from the Padicale. Yeah. Well, let's just go across and make sure that we actually capture ports and the surrounding areas so that my army can go to any of those provinces because the Red Army my Red Navy will also go to Padekale and then just ship over as soon as we can be careful with this plan but I think we might succeed we'll try it anyway just for the fun of it and even if some of our troops get shot down or destroyed well that's just about it that's just the way it has to be then. Well, we're destroying a sh ship every now and then. That's good. Let's keep doing that. Well, the Spanish, let's just paint his holding down there, which is good for us. Don't have to fight there then. So, we're gonna see how that ends. Problem is, if I screw this up, and it doesn't work. We do have a slight problem because we do lose divisions. So I basically can't lose. We really need them. So I guess I'll have to be careful. And I don't know how many divisions one of these guys needs. So yeah, we need 70% air superiority. We don't have that yet, so we'll have to wait anyway. But perhaps I can add more bombers or something, yeah. Heavy bombers, so I don't know if they do anything good. Dive bombers. Let's add dive bombers. Alright. Uh, well. I guess they should bomb. Ships as well. We sink another ship. That's good. Then let's add. Oh, we have carrier fighter. Interesting. You can go in. No problem. Just go and fight. And well, let's add those heavy bombers as well. Oh, they can't do anything, so they can be gone. Or they should be gone. Yep. Well, this should be it. As you can see, we're doing all of a sudden more damage. And, well, more ships are being sunk. Which is actually good. So let's keep it like that. Let's see if we can get the upper hand. I think Paradox should do something about all those noises all the time. Because you get a lot of noise from all the things you apparently destroy or. Well, most of the time you don't destroy anything, so... See, the battle cruisers we can't seem to destroy. Let's see, we are researching the atomic bomb. Let's go for radar. That'll help us get air supremacy. And, well... Don't have air supremacy now. He has a lot of fighters brought in, and we're just losing fighters, so... He has Spitfires Mark Three. So, yeah. Well, actually doing a good job. Which is a pity. Guess we just need more fighters. Well, we're trying to produce them. Which, of course, is a good thing. Do I have fighters stationed elsewhere? Don't believe so. Because it says I have a lot of fighters. Just don't see them anywhere. I mean, it says. Oh, this is the production. Sorry, I thought I had 3,600 fighters. I was wrong. My bad. Alrighty, so we don't have air supremacy. Let's just hope we get it. In the meantime, let's think of other plans. Well, we're not going to go to war with the Soviet Union yet, because, well, he will totally crush us. 
But, well, Japan is actually making a bit of gains, which is interesting. Iran surrendered, so they're now in the faction. They're a puppet, yeah, interesting. He's at war with Soviet Union as well. Maybe we can do something about that at some point. Well, this will enhance my planes, which is good. Yes, I like that. We sink another ship and another one. Let's get rid of those messages. So, as long as we're sinking ships, I'm kind of happy. Let me see how many planes he has. Ooh, way too many. Guess he focused a lot on planes. Which is gonna be a problem. Though every now and then we do contest him in the air. We're not actually doing something. Or, I mean, we're not actually winning. Which could be a problem. But at least we defeated Italy, which is something. And is something I like. So yeah, that's nice. And I guess now we'll just have to see what we can do. Which at the moment doesn't appear to be much. Except just wait and see if we can actually... Well, let's just speed up. See if we can do actually anything against all of those planes. But I don't think so. This production is probably pretty intact. And well, as long as this production is intact, we can't actually do anything about it. It'll be outproducing us with planes. Although, well, our efficiency is going up, so we are actually building quite a few planes. It'd be interesting. Well, did we destroy? Yeah, we destroyed another sub. That's nice. Perhaps at some point we can do a naval invasion. But we need naval supremacy for that and we don't have that yet, but well, maybe at some point we will. At least there's one thing we can do. Keep trying. But for now, I'd say we did quite enough for this episode. So let's run through the end of the month. I'll pause then. And, well, let's end this episode, and I'll try and think of a plan to go in and defeat the British. Not going to be easy, so we'll see. I'm just glad we survived this far with our tiny nation, and we'll see what comes up. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I do. And, well, I hope to see you in the next episode. If you like this one, please just give me a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel. That's a big, big help. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.